Hi everyone! So today I thought I would dip some bubble thingy, bubble wrap. I'm trying to pop a bu yeah, there we go. It's so satisfying. <laughs> I'm going to dip bubble wrap in my painting. And to do that, I'm going to start with a flip cup and I also mix my paints the usual way. Um, for the heavy body paint, it's paint medium, half and half, equal parts, and then I add about 20-25% to the mix. I like to add the water after I mix my paints and medium, so that way I know uh, how much of a mix I have, and I also know um, how much water I can add without underbinding the acrylics. I also mixed a uh, high flow acrylic and for that it's one part high flow acrylic, two ten part medium and a little squirt of water and same with the Dollar Ronnie ink which is a high flow or ink. For To me they're uh, very similar, close to the same, uh, so they're mixed the same way. So yeah, um, that's about it and I will zoom you in and we'll get started with that. Alright, so I will start by putting the colors in a cup in order of density. So the titanium white goes first. The second I am hesitating between the iridescent pink or the normal pink. The iridescent pink has a titanium white and a quinacolone pi uh, pigment and then some iridescent pigment as well and this is only a quinacolone pigment and titanium white pigment so they must be close in density but um, my gut is telling me to go with this just a normal quinacolone pink. Then the ink, then the quinacridone magenta, and finally the fluorescent pink. And now I will flip my canvas. Lift this up, tilt, and I forgot to put gloves again. And now comes the fun part, where I take my plastic bubble wrap and dip it in. And lift it quickly, so they don't... Oh wow, <laughs> that looks like a cake. You know those um, piping tools that you use to decorate the cake, well, it reminds me of that. So yeah, anyway, I'll give you a time lapse and see how it changed. Meanwhile, I'll cover my sides and pop the bubbles. Alright, so it turned out really, really cool. Um, I really like it. Um, so what I did, pretty simple. Uh, flip cup, 
I put the paint in order of density so the most dense ends up on top and then once you lift the cup the paint escapes and the most dense paint will sink into the lighter one and pushing them up and that way uh, create cells. Now I feel like the bubble wrap definitely help uh, in the cell creation. I also feel like it created a really cool pattern. Uh, it was just lightly, lightly placed on top and then uh, I made sure that all the bubbles uh, were touching the paint and then I lifted quickly to avoid any drips uh, in the paint and it really created some cool patterns around here but mostly I uh, like I said, I think it helped in the cell formation. I already had cells forming uh, before I put the, babel, uh, the bubble wrap on. Babel wrap, yeah. Uh, but after I lift the bubble wrap, more cells were appearing. I think uh, by breaking the surface tension of the paint, I allowed the paint to move freely and really uh, sell up more easily and as you can see, a bunch of cells uh, that look nothing like the dip I had. Uh, well, you can see the dip here, what it looked like when I lifted the bubble wrap. Uh, I think it's really cool, really, really, really nice. Most cells are fluorescent. As you can see here, the fluorescent pink. I also have uh, the Cunicron magenta selling up in the places and it seems that they are selling up uh, in the white and also in the pearlescent pink that is very pale now but is going to dry much darker and iridescent as well super shiny it's going to be really cool I think once it dries and it's going to dry uh, darker because of the GC800. The GC800 being white uh, when wet in the paint uh, but as it dries it's going to dry uh, transparent and it's only going to leave the color of the pigment and it's going to be much darker because the white of the GC800 is going to disappear. Acrylics will dry darker uh, normally but they with, with the GC800 they will dry even more darker. So yeah really happy with it. Love the big cells here. Um, love uh, <laughs> the little fluorescent detail on the edges here. Lovely. I'm really happy with the results. I really didn't expect that at all, uh, but boy, oh boy. And we're back, and I am a happy painter. I love how the bubble wrap really uh, created a bunch of cool patterns on the canvas. It looked like a cake well, a decorated cake with the, the piping bag and a nozzle. Uh, I should probably make try a painting like that. This just gave me an idea. <laughs> um, more to come on that. <laughs> so yeah. I can't wait for it to dry. I think it's going to look amazing. I love how uh, the Fluorescent pink and uh, quinacridone magenta mixed uh, in the cells. I think it's going to look lovely under a black light. The, the fluorescent cells are going to pop and they're going to be separated by non-fluorescent paint. So it's just going to be the fluorescent paint. Uh, yeah, fluorescent paint uh, shining in your face, but just in the cells pattern. So it's going to be really cool. I absolutely love the pattern that the bubble wrap created. I will have to try this again for sure. 
I am really, really happy with the result I got. And so, of course, I have to try it again with a different color combination and see if it works as well again. And yeah, um, give it a like if you like it. And on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!